got some sunlight coming through there. I think that's a first for these videos. What's up guys, Joe here from Gamer Toys. Welcome back to another pickup video. I got a lot of new stuff, which is kind of different for me, but uh, let's start with something vintage here. I've had this for a minute and I have forgotten to show it in the last couple pickup videos, but this is my uh, Emperor Mailer case from GW Acrylics. So I want to thank Ian Sanderson for providing such great uh, product here. I'm pretty sure I had this in backwards uh, because this is like right up and it probably should be this way. But I kind of like the way it looks here. I like how the catalog is right up in the front. So we got the catalog from Brandon, the Emperor, which I've had, and then I have the box here. But this box also has a second sealed Kenner Baggy Emperor inside, which I also got from Brandon. So shout out to Jabba's Toy Dungeon once again. Next up. All right, let's start with this. I picked this up, but I'm not keeping it. This is actually going to my buddy Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces. And that is this Marvel Spider-Man Venom figure. I saw this uh, hanging on the peg, so I took a picture and I sent it to Tommy and I asked him, do you have this? Do you want it? I'll pick it up. And uh, he said, yeah, so I'm gonna give him this when he comes down to Chicago for the King County Toy Show in October. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again, buddy. So yeah, Venom, holla. So I really have been on this Ninja Turtles kick lately. And it all started when I saw the Samurai Ninja Turtles and the Usagi Yojimbo figure. And I've just been buying more and more Nick Turtles uh, lately. So let's start with this guy, Armagon. Is it Armagon? Bounty Hunter Space Shark? Are you kidding me? How do you see a Bounty Hunter Space Shark and not buy it? This dude's crazy looking. It's it's a shark inside a shark suit. I mean, I don't even understand. And this is just like, this screams vintage Ninja Turtles. Uh, it definitely looks like the style of figure that would have been in the vintage line. And it's amazing. And this thing closes and, oh my God. I mean, come on. Armagon, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Awesome figure. Next up, I mean, come on. Mondo Gecko, you don't have to say anything else. Uh, Mondo Gecko is one of my favorite figures from the vintage line. So when I saw the new Mondo Gecko, I had to grab him. And I've seen this figure in the stores before and I didn't pick him up. Lucky for me, I found him again and I grabbed him. This piece right here, this might be one of my favorite modern toys that I've picked up. And there's a couple reasons. I grabbed the Samurai Warrior Horse with Samurai Usagi Yojimbo. This set right here is amazing. This Usagi figure is great. This, uh, there's actually another Samurai version of Usagi on a single card back like this card back, but his armor is kind of more of a muted tone. It's more beige and brown, where this has silver, it has metallic silver, it has gold on the belt, blue pants, I mean, it's a great looking Usagi figure. And the horse, this horse is great. Now, a little Easter egg, if you can call it an Easter egg, I don't know, but this horse, this isn't the first time we've seen this horse. This horse is actually from the vintage line. It came out during the third movie. So Playmates has reused the mold. They gave it a new paint scheme. They package it with Yo Jimbo. That's a win-win. So it's cool, you're getting a little bit of vintage and a little bit of modern, and I love this set. I believe that you can also get this horse with the turtles. I haven't seen those yet, but I saw this and I knew I had to have it. Okay, last but not least, this uh, this has been out for a while. I never grabbed it. I'm also on like this Marvel kick now, but I grabbed the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Star-Lord. This figure is awesome looking. But the face sculpt, eh, it kind of looks like Chris Pratt, but that's okay because I'd probably display it with the masked head anyway. It comes with Groot's arm. It comes with the tape player, the headphones, his blaster. It's just an awesome figure. It's got great paint deco, black washing. It's awesome. These figures are great. Once again, these figures are just making Star Wars Black Series look kind of shitty. These are my pickups. We got Star-Lord, Mondo Gecko. We got Armagon. I hope I'm saying it right. Venom and the Yo Jimbo with the horse which is from the vintage line, which is awesome. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces.